Homeworks ask us to do so much crazy stuff. And if you're in computer science, you may have to find duplicate characters in a string at some point. Um, not very real worldy, but <laughs> we're gonna do it. So by the end of this video, you'll have a fully working program on how to find duplicate characters in a string in Java. Woo! What's up, it's Alex back again, helping you learn Java. On this channel, I make Java tutorials every week for you to help you learn Java. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. First, we'll hop into Eclipse, make a new Java project. We'll call it dupe chars, expand it, right click source, new class. Uh, we'll call it find duplicates. Hit this first check mark and hit finish. The problem is we have a string or just some words wrapped in double quotes and you wanna see how many of the characters are duplicates. The requirements are the input is that string in double quotes, and we need to return the exact characters that were repeated. So we'll just start this program off by making a new string. Um, to make a string is really easy. You just type string. Oh my God, if you could spell string. Um, I'm just gonna call it sentence and we'll set it equal to our input. So we'll say, um, how many duplicates are there? Now this program's based on getting characters from a string. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get a character from this string. To get a character from a string, you type the string. So ours is sentence. And then you do a dot. And this will bring up all the things that we can do with our string. So we can say car at, that's actually the one we'll be using but there's a bunch of other things here you can explore on your own, but we're just gonna click char at. Now we wanna put the position of the character we want, um, and that's also called an index. And the position starts at zero, so if we want this capital H, we would say char at zero. And if we print that out, save it and run that, then we get that capital H. We could do this at any other position, say 16, and looks like there's a T there. I'll just remove this for now and move on with the program. To see how many duplicates there are, we have to keep track of every single character. We get the first character, and then the second character, and then the third character until the very end. So to do that, we can make a for loop. Just type four, and then just follow my lead. We'll say int i equals zero. We wanna go until the length of our sentence. So do sentence, dot, remember a dot brings up everything that this string can do. So we'll say dot, and then down here you'll see length. So we can easily get the length of that string, pretty nice. Finish the for loop by doing this, and we'll just print out each character. By doing what we did before, but char at i. Save it and run it, and this will get each and every character for us. A quick rundown on how this works. First, we start with this integer variable called i, it's at zero. We know that zero is less than the whole length of this. So let's run this code and we'll print out the character at zero. Next, we'll go back to the top. Now i is one because we increment it. One is less than the length of the string. Get the character at one, which is this o, and it goes down until the very end where i is incremented so much that it's past the length. To keep track of duplicate characters, we're gonna need to make two more strings. We'll have a string of characters, which will store every character that we come across. And we're just gonna keep adding to it as we go along. And lastly, we'll just have a string of all the duplicate characters. So we'll say duplicates. And this will store all the duplicate characters. Each time, instead of printing the character out, we'll just add it to the character string by doing characters plus equals the character at our position. And that should be characters. To see that this is working, print out characters, save it and run it, and you'll see we're incrementally adding each character one at a time into our new string. To find duplicates, we just need to see if a character is in there more than once. So we'll say if characters 
dot contains our current character, um, which is this. Copy and paste that in there. That's our current character. If it contains it, then we know we've already seen it. This is underlined, but to get around this, I'm gonna do this little trick. We're gonna create um, the current character by typing character dot to string, and then that's sentence dot char at i. This looks really confusing right now. Don't worry too much about it, but we're just gonna throw this current into here. So what we did here was we converted that character into a string so we can see if it contains it. This makes it look a bit cleaner and we'll just also replace that with current, the current character. So if the current character is already in there, then we know there's a duplicate. So we'll add to our duplicates by saying duplicates plus equals that current character. We'll instead print out our duplicates. We'll save it and run it. And now we get to see some progress here. <laughs> the reason looks, this looks funky is because there are duplicates inside of our duplicates. So get around that by saying, if our duplicates doesn't contain the current one either, then we'll do it. Okay, save and run that. It's looking better. We'll just take this print statement out, put it at the very end. So it doesn't look weird, save and run that. And we get our duplicates. I'm just gonna tack on a little comma here to make it nicer. And we'll also print out the input sentence. Save it, run it. And here we go, here's our sentence. And here are all of the duplicate characters. We have a space, we have A, E, T, and R. I kind of messed up on the formatting there uh, with the extra comma at the end. Dang it, Alex! I am just the worst. So it does look confusing, um, but I tried my best to explain it. But pretty much we're going one by one each character. We're storing each character. We're checking if the current character is one we've seen before. If it is, then we're adding it to our duplicate string. So if this was helpful, please smash that like button and share this video if you think it might help someone else you know. I always appreciate feedback and I thank you for being here because you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate that. I'll catch you later.